Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today I wanted to talk about something that sells for some insane amounts of money these days. It's vintage vinyl record. We're going to talk about some very specific 45s today that sell for thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars. These are standard 7-inch records. Let's show you some right now. So let's just talk about records for just a minute here before we go into the conversation today. The category I make the most profit per item, per investment I get, has always been records. I have always made more from selling high dollar records than I have anything else I have ever sold in all of these years that I've been a reseller. We've made thousands of dollars from one single record, from one single flip on many, many occasions. Something that I spent a dollar or less on in almost every single case when I'm buying records. Now, the biggest problem with this category for most people is the learning curve is incredibly tough. You have to know a lot. You have to understand records. You have to be able to distinguish reproductions and things like that or modern day pressings from them. There's a lot more to records. You also have to be able to grade them and properly price them also. So let's talk just a few minutes and show you just some fine examples here. Now today we're just going out on 45s. If you're talking about 45s, some of the top selling 45s are always soul related. Northern soul would be the term that most people describe these as. The second grouping would be rock and roll slash rockabilly, such as early Elvis on Sun labels. Some of those can go for 10,000 plus also. Now, a 10,000 mark at a 45 may sound crazy or high, but that is not anywhere near the mark for some scarce records. Now, there are many sites, many platforms you can sell and buy records on. eBay is just one of them. There's Discogs, which is just for records, and then you have Amazon and several other spots, too. There are other platforms like Moyer's site, which you can buy rare records on. There are other auction sites online that do auction off records. So it's a big huge field. Now for the first time in a very long time, record production surpassed CDs if I read the article correctly. They have been gaining in popularity and in price drastically over the last few years. Now not everything in records goes up, but the soul records are the one category that I've always done very well in. So let's show you a few tough to get ones here. Again, these are scarce ones. If you don't know your records, you don't know what to look for, you may have walked by this one before and not even known it. Now this one here is the Fidels. It's a soul group. This is a soul classic, very scarce. It's on a key men label. That is the label name, the company name on the label that printed this and pressed this record. The song is Try a Little Harder. This is extremely scarce. $10,000 on this one here. A nice copy, of course. Very, very scarce record. These are the sorts of things that people turn up and find. We personally have found many records that sold for over four grand. So I have always messed with records. For several decades, I have sold records and collected as well. So I know this category fairly well. If you spend the time and the energy and the effort, you can find some good records. Well over anything else that I find, as I said. Let's just look at some more here, and we're going to talk about another site also. Now, this is Denise Edwards, Johnny on the Spot. That's the name of the song. This is on International Soulsville. Now, I am outside of Detroit, so I can turn up some of these records up here. But in other areas of the country where I have lived, I have still still been lucky enough to find some scarce records. Now, wherever you're at, there's some research techniques and skills that you can get that will help you find specific styles and groupings of records. It does work. We have done it. I've found stuff just like this locally, just because I do dig it and do research where I can find this at. So if you do your homework, this is what could lay out for you. $5,600 plus on this one record, $5,655. Again, this is something I usually pay a dollar or less for when I'm buying records. In many cases, I can pay pennies when I buy them in huge bulk, 5,000, 10,045 records. Now, I even have videos on here of an 8,000 LP record assortment that I purchased all at once. Um, if you want to check that out, be my guest. Next one here is the Salvadors on a Wise World label. This is Stick By Me Baby. Another, this is a first issue. There are other issues of this. When you're talking about a record by the Salvadors and it's Stick By Me Baby, it has to be the specific label you see here. It has to be on the Wise World label. There could even be a reproduction of this very same disc. So as I said, there is a huge learning curve. 
Now here's the Tierras. This is an Opt Art label. Very nice one here. Foolish Girl. A lot of these discs I'm showing you if you'd like to hear what they sound like. Most of them you can find here on YouTube. Just type in the Tierras and Foolish Girl and you should find a copy. It doesn't have to be from the same disc as long as it's the same song. So you can at least get an idea on the style of music. This one went for $5,100 plus dollars on it. $5,000 plus. We'll just skim through a few more. This is Frankie Beverly and the Butlers. Very good classic. He has several that are worth some big money. This one went for five grand, five thousand dollars for a single disc, seven inch 45 record. Another one, the Soul Incorporated, a very scarce, well sought after group. Coconut Grove is a label that shows up in this generalized area. It's from Michigan. It's a small press label, four thousand seven hundred and forty one dollars. Now, this one's autographed. It's not a huge plus on some of these. They all go for some insane amounts of money when you find the right disc. Now, here's a Re Flores. This is on an M&H record label. Nice 45. Now, this one's from California. This is a rare label, one I have not seen in person myself. But in the right area of the country, things like this will show up. $4,655. These are legitimate prices. Every one of these, I guarantee you, is a legitimate price. I've known this industry and follow these records for years on end. I always look at least once or twice a month at what's selling in the category. Sometimes I'll learn a new record that I've never heard of by doing that. They all have multiple bids. This one has 36 bids on it. So these are awesome records, something you would just hope to find. Now here's the Nomads, they're well sought after. And not just this label, now this is a Mo Groove. This is a northern area, Detroit if I'm not mistaken. Really a key example of this, something bad. Again, look these up if you want to hear some good music. $4,611, 24 bids again. Now records like this are extremely scarce, that is a fact. But there's a large group of people that will pay out for these style of records. That's why they go for thousands for the right 45. And everybody that I know who's dug into records has found some decent records. So it's something that you can make a lot of money in. Now this is Aaron Domain. This is another classic one. Now this is a Blue Star label. Disc number 1000, which would probably be the first record that they pressed. It may be the only record that they pressed. Silent Treatment, $3,083. Massive amounts of bids, 35 bids. Again, these are all ones that will sell. This is a promo version, which may be, again, the only version of this. Sometimes some records were only released as a promo, and there are no hard copy stock store copy versions of them. There's only a promo in limited quantity released for radio station play. If they weren't liked, they didn't play, they didn't press the records. That's why some of these are extremely scarce these days. Now here's a Limelights. This is on an Uncle label. This is very scarce. This is Don't Leave Me Baby. Just a nice, fine example. $3,000. This was up as a bin. Someone bought it straight out. It wasn't up very long either. The next one here is the Jokers doing Soul Sound. This is on a Schofield label. This is from New Orleans. This is very scarce. Uh, if I remember right, the folks that found this are from that same area. So they're regional. There's a lot of these high dollar records that are regional. Being near Detroit, as I said that we are, I do turn up a lot of rare records from this area. So wherever you're at, there are going to be some classic rare discs that you could find in your area. Researching what's in your area will always give you a better return on your investment so you know what to look for immediately. So anyway, just a nice one, $2,600. Now another site that I do use is called Pop Psych. It's a great site to research record prices on. Now I have a paid subscription to this site because I've used it now for geez, 15 plus years, we've been a subscriber, a paid subscriber to Pop Psych. Whether you collect or not or sell, it's a great site. It has a lot of information. You can look at a few limited number ones for free, but after that, every day you'd have to pay after that to look at any more. Now, I've searched just by 45 here on this platform, just to give you an idea here on the massive quantity of records that will show up. This pegs at 25,000 listings, so there's way more than that. It's just all that that number goes up to. 
Now my search here is only showing listings from several platforms that have 45 listed in the title. If it's not in the title, it won't show up. So there's many more 45s that could have sold much higher than these prices here. But I just want to give you an example on some of the pricing here. Now this one here is the Dell Larks performing job opening. It's a two part, part one and part two would be on the other side. It's on a Queen City label. This one went for $13,000. This is a sale from this year, 24 bits. This is just a perfect example. Now, researching things, you can't just use eBay because some things like this are so rare that you will only find them off platform. eBay search results will only give you listings from 90 days or newer. Even if you go to Terra Peak and you're not paying for it, you won't be able to tell or look at the label close enough to tell if it's over 90 days. So Pop Psych is almost a must for anybody into records. There are other sites that you could use to determine pricing, such as Discogs and Craig Moyer's site, which is another site that sells records, and you can glean some pricing pricing from it. There's several more besides that and there's some rare 45 record catalogs and price guides from the UK that are very good but they cost a lot of money so if you're not into this as heavily as someone say as I am then you might not want to invest in any of this extra business. Just another one. This is Larry Clinton. She's Wanted. Dynamo. This is a classic. Any one of these will sell for at least six to $7,000 or up to $10,000 for this one from a few years ago. Almost $11,000 in all honesty. There's a huge market for scarce records. It's only gotten bigger. The prices have only increased on some of these scarce records. It's one of the most underrated categories and most left off categories because people don't want to mess with the learning curve involved in selling 45 records. Here's another one. This is the inspirations on the breakthrough label. No one else can take your place. $8,600. This is another one from just a few months ago. This is a legitimate sale, a fine copy of this record. And I'm just going to show you this last one more. Lily Bryant, well-known one. This is on a taster. That's the name of the label. It's a promo. This is a classic as well. Meet Me Halfway, $6,767. Another one from this year, 27 bids. They started off bidding at 1000 bucks on this one. So this category has made us more money on individual items than any other category. I could add up a bunch of categories together and still not come out to where we make profits on these sorts of items. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.